Is your family farm's future uncertain? Silence may be the biggest risk of all. Discover how open conversations and gradual planning can secure your legacy and empower the next generation. Don't wait. Start the dialogue today. Learn more and download a transition planning checklist at fcc.ca slash knowledge. Bernard Tobin here at the Farm Progress Show in Decatur, Illinois, catching up with uh, David Soliday at Fence. David, how's it going? Hey, doing great. Hope you are. Hey, a big uh, launch here today. Lots of new products. Hey, you're standing in front of the, uh, the 1000 Gen 4 Series. Tell us about it. Yeah, so we're excited to be able to bring this tractor here to Farm Progress Show here this week. First launch uh, ever here in the U.S. Uh, outside of Germany for Fence. So we're excited to have these products here uh, for launch here. Of course, we're going to have four models here, the 1040, the 1044, the 1048, and the 1052, up to 550 max horsepower with dynamic performance. So that's a big range of horsepower. Dave, what's the strategy there? Yeah, so, you know, offering this horsepower segment to a lot of different customers as well. I just saw you pan across. You also saw our favorite 926. Maybe we can talk about that one too here as well. Got a little story about that one. But a lot of horsepower here uh, that, that's, that's available, uh, up to 550 uh, max uh, uh, horsepower with dynamic performance. You talked a lot about the lighting package here. David, tell us about that. Yeah, so that's something new that we're offered here on our FIT 1000 Gen 4 as well. Up to 120,000 plus lumens available on these new tractors. As you can see, the cab looks a lot different. They're also controlled by pods as well. So you're going to control different lights for different areas as well. If you're uh, pulling a, a grain cart, for example, um, and, and you want to turn, turn off lights so you're not blinding the, uh, the, the, the combine operator, you're able to do that. Then hit a mirror button where you're able to swatch that at the, at the headlands and be able to flip those around a push of a button as well. So very customizable as well and uh, up to 67% more lighting out of these compared to previous models as well. You spent a lot of time this morning talking about um, adaptive power. Tell us about that. Yeah, so adaptive power is something new that we're introducing with this 1000 Gen 4. Um, and it's something where you're able to adjust horsepower down. So not all implements can handle the horsepower that some of these 550 horsepower tractors can do. So you're able to adjust that horsepower in the cab. So let's say you need a 400 horsepower uh, 1040, for example, you can hit the button and it'll bring the horsepower down. Of course, your fuel consumption will also go down if you don't need that extra horsepower. So you're able to do that in the cab, control those settings. Now, it's only from the top down. You can't get a 1040 and hit a button and make it go to a 1052. It's only 1052 or a smaller down. So a 1044 to a 1040, for example, is capable of doing that as well. And that's called adaptive power. David, tell us where these fat tractors fit on the farm. I know you've got a range of horsepower here. Yeah, so a big range of horsepower. You know, that's why we have my Metri dual tractor here that you see behind me. We also have a row crop tire version here as well. And that's why we wanted to bring both both options here. Of course, row crop we can get with a very good tire and pressure inflation system. So you're able to control the tire pressure when you're in the in the cab. And it, you know, it's different for the field versus the road as well, which you know also leads to compaction uh, control as well, and also increase your yield as well with with uh, on the road crop uh, version. Metrics is also an option that we see out here as well. So I wanted to include this as well. Uh, this is a, a versatile tractor, so you're able to do a lot of different things with this with, with this tractor as well. Um, you can take take the duals off and run it like a regular tractor as well. You're gonna have a tighter turning radius also, and it's really a versatile tractor to use on the farm as well. Dave, what about availability when a farmer is going to be able to get their hands on it? Yeah, hey, price page is open September 1st, September 1st, and the first tractors will start arriving third quarter of 2026. Great stuff, David. I always appreciate you making time for Real Agriculture. Thank you. Yeah.